How to select a top European Doberman puppy. Hey guys, what's up? How you guys doing? This is Jose Garcia. I'm going to shoot this short little video um, and I'm going to walk you guys through the steps that I personally take when I select a puppy. Okay, um, I put this little PowerPoint together. I added a lot of pictures um, and I'm going to be sharing my screen because I'm going to be going on Google and doing a lot of the research uh, like I said, it's going to be step by step what I personally do and what I look for. And I dive in myself like really, really deep. Uh, but I'm just going to give you guys the principles and the concepts. Because otherwise, you know how, how uh, we are, you know, dog lovers. Like we, we get obsessed with the dogs and then we start doing research. And, you know, we could do research for hours and hours and hours on end, right? So I don't want to make that video like a, you know, or this video like a, two hour video or anything like that. But um, I just wanna walk you guys through the uh, the concepts, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, selecting the right breeder, okay? So, there's a few things that I personally look for uh, when it comes to breeding or breeders, okay? Especially uh, since I like to uh, buy my dogs in Europe, okay? I look for certain things in the breeders and these are a few of the things Number one is I want to contact the breeder, of course, but it's not just contact, okay? I want to see how quick they, they, um, they respond, what their interaction is like, um, you know, those are the type of things that I want to see their personality, how they are, you know, if they're just like, you know, if you ask them a question, they're just like, yeah, no, and like there's really no, like, you know, just get a feel for the person, how they are. You know, if they start giving you more content, if they give you more videos, if, you know, you start little conversations about, you know, what kind of food or all these other things, you're going to build that relationship with that breeder, okay? So when you guys contact people, uh, make sure they have that. Like for me, when you guys contact me, I'm not just a robot, okay? I like to text back, I like to joke around, I like to have fun because I'm a real person, okay? I'm not just like on that, like a little answering machine like, oh yeah, okay, I added you to the puppy list and then you don't hear from me for like, you know, a week, okay? So that's something that I take into consideration. Another thing is a website, okay? If a lot of these, a lot of people, they have websites now, um, I look into their website. For me, I'm working on my website. Uh, so I don't have one yet, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have one yet. I have a lot of content. I have a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, all that stuff. Uh, but I'm actually need to hire a developer and all that stuff. It takes time to build a nice website, but uh, that's going to be in the works, honestly, in the next few months. Okay. The other thing is social media. And when it comes to social media is how often do they post? Okay. For me, I post every few days. Uh, sometimes, you know, two days in a row and then I go three or four days without posting. Something that you guys have to take, take into account is that. The other thing with social media is going to be uh, the engagement, okay? Look at the engagement that people have in their, uh, in their social medias. Like for me, it's Instagram, right? Uh, when I post a picture or a video of Kimber or Cora or anything like that, uh, I usually get around 100 likes. Right now, I'm not... My Instagram page is not huge, but hey, it's getting there, okay? So look at that, look at the engagement, see if the breeder interacts with people who comment, um, you know, on, on his pictures, on her pictures, on the videos, on all that stuff. Look at the engagement, see, like I said, just get a, a good feel for the breeder, see how they are, you know, make sure they're, they're, you know, they're legit, okay? Because a lot of times people, well, not a lot of times, I know of like one person who, um, who was a little like sketchy, you know, and that person got a bunch of pictures from a certain breeder who's legit, who is a well-known breeder, the Batigles Kennel, and this person started using that person's pictures, uh, you know, and it was just like a little weird thing that that guy was going, it, it was happening. But again, these are the things that you always have to take into account. So that way you're not, you, you know, you deal with the real person. You don't deal with somebody who's who's fake, who doesn't have any dogs, or, or none of that stuff, okay? The other thing that is very important is the reviews, okay? I often like to look at reviews. That's why it's really good when people, like, tag the people who own their dogs. 
uh, let's say like, you know, like, uh, let's say Jasmine, for example, or, or Justin or anybody who's on the list, right? That's watching this video. Um, if I tag you guys, let's say you guys get a puppy, uh, when I tag you guys, you guys are going to start to see that, let's say me and Jasmine, we start a little interaction. I'm like, hey guys, check out Jasmine's uh, little puppy. You know, he's three months old. You know, he's in Colorado, this or that or whatever. You're going to see that it's going to be like, oh wow, that is so cool. You're going to go to Jasmine. You're going to check out Jasmine's profile and you'll be like, wow, this is a good breeder. You know, he actually uh, acknowledges the people that buy his his puppies and you see that it's a it's something legit. You know, if Jasmine makes a post uh, of the of the puppy and tags me, what does that mean? You know, it's it's kind of like a good thing for, for people on the outside that are looking at me. They're like, oh, wow, you know, this Jasmine's really happy with, with the puppy that she got from, from Garcia's European Dobermans or from Jose or something like that. Okay, so those are some of the things that I personally uh, wanted to share with you guys about the breeders. Like I said, get a good feel for them. Uh, make sure that you guys talk to them. And like I said, just build that connection. Okay, build that connection. See if you bond with them. Some breeders, especially in Europe, they're very short. You know, and I personally don't like that. Because, you know, I, I may ask them a question. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm interested in one of your puppies. You know, what's the price? And it's just like, you know, 2,500 euros. And that's it. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, can I get the pedigree? Oh, let me look for it. And then they take forever to send it. Or like, it, they're just really, really short. I personally don't like that. I like somebody who's going to engage uh, with me. Um, so again, these are just some of the things that I look for. So what I want to do is I want to give you guys an example now. And I'm going to drink some tea. So I want to give you guys an example of Tara. Okay, but before I, um, before I share with you guys this, just to let you guys know, I'll give you guys a little backstory. Um, I think I told a few of you guys, um, I was actually in the process or I'm still in the process of importing a male puppy from Europe. Okay. Now Tara is going to be the mom of my puppy. The male, the stud is going to be million or was. The reason why I say was is because I just heard or I just talked to, uh, to the, uh, to the breeder and he said that, that Tara is not pregnant. Okay, so I was expecting to get the puppy around January or so of, of this following year, but unfortunately, Tara's not pregnant. I love Tara, so I'm just going to go ahead and wait until she, uh, until she conceives with another great dog. I think the breeder said that he may be using Hussar, so, um, you know, but anyways, this is just an example of what I did uh, when I wanted to select that particular uh, breeder, that particular female, and that particular male, okay? And I want you guys just to, to always, always keep this in mind, okay? It's not just about the male, okay? It's not just about the stud. You guys also have to, you know, the, the mom or the dam is just as equally as important as the dad because half of the genes of that puppy are going to come from the mom, okay? Even if the mom is not crazy famous or she doesn't have a lot of training or anything like that, you still have to dig in and see who her dad was, right? Who her grandpa was, who her mom was. You know, just still dig in so that way you get the, the best uh, Doberman puppy you can uh, because you did your research on the bloodline, okay? Because, yeah, you can have an amazing dog, let's say like Brody or Sigmund, have these amazing studs, but if you breed those dogs with like, uh, like a Doberman that's like half American and half uh, European and like, you know, the bloodline is kind of not that well known and all this other stuff. Like, yeah, the puppies are going to be nice, but they're not going to be, they're not going to reach their full potential because they don't have the genes from the mom. Okay. Does that make sense? So again, always, always keep that in mind. Both the dad is extremely important and the mom is extremely important, okay? That's why for me with my girls, you know, with Kimber and Cora, I did a ton of research just as much as I did with my male because I know the importance of the mom as well, you know, not just the dad, okay? So let me go ahead and give you guys this example of what I did. But like I said, guys, unfortunately, I have to wait until Tara uh, conceives hopefully on her next heat cycle um, that way I can get a puppy from her and I'll tell you guys why I am pretty much 
set on, on Terra, okay? So, this is going to be Terra. Terra Von Modark, or I'm not sure how you say it. She looks like a male, okay? She's huge. She's thick. Look at these big old paws. She has a huge head. Um, the body structure is amazing. Look at her coat. Big, shiny. I love the thickness of it. I, I love the, 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 the feet. You can just tell just by the picture, right? And then here's another picture, like a more of a side picture, okay? So yeah, look at the big old paws. And this is a female. She looks like a male, which honestly, that's something that I personally love. I like big, thick, uh, you know, female dogs in order for them to, because like I said, it's really, really important for, for, for the female to have great genes for the puppy to be amazing, okay? So this is Tara. Uh, Tara's parents, like I said, this is just me messaging the breeder. You know, we're talking, we're going back and forth. Um, and he tells me, he, I asked him for the pedigree, but he said he didn't have it, which is not a big deal. You know, um, I follow the guy a lot. He posts a lot. He always shows his dogs. Again, all the, the tips that I gave you at the beginning of the video, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing that. So I, this guy, I trust him. He's a good guy. Um, and yeah, so he said that, uh, Tara's dad is Quiz, which is a famous dog. If you, you know. Quiz von Schwarzkraft. I'm not sure how to say it. And then uh, the mom is Alexa V. Marcellone Leon, or however you say that, right? So this is what I do, okay? So I go ahead and I kind of pre-flighted it a little bit just so I would save a little bit of time on making the video. This is what I do, okay? I look up the mom, and right off the bat, I go to Google. Boom. I start doing some research on the dog. Okay, I want to make sure that, you know, this is the picture that I showed you guys, right? And then I do, like I said, I just start looking, look around, Tara. These are all the pictures that are pretty much on that guy's Instagram. Uh, this one's also Tara. Uh, let's see if it says on there. Just like I said, I just, I literally just start diving in. Uh, there we go. I start diving in. The other thing that I do here is I type in pedigree. Okay. Uh, whoops, I gotta go here. Okay. Alexa, remember that Alexa was uh, her, her mom? Okay. So I literally just start diving in and I just start doing a ton of research. Okay. So let me see. Oh, well, I know who Tara is. Hold on. This is gonna take a little bit longer than expected. Okay, hold on. So we know who Tara's parents are, right? It's going to be Quiz. Um, it's going to be Quiz and it's going to be Alexa, right? That's from my little PowerPoint. So then I grab the name of the male and I put it on Google. And I start diving in, right? I start reading. I start, you know, again, I, I could take hours, you know, just making this video, but I don't want to, okay? So literally... You know, uh, then I start checking out all his stuff. You know, he's clear, uh, DNA tested, normal, kidneys, awesome. I start looking at everything, right? I start looking at all this stuff. You know, Oscar is a great dog, which, you know, that's his uh, second generation, his grandpa. I start looking, like I said, I literally just start diving in, you know? And then I look at this, okay? And then I start, you know, the other thing that I do... Let me see. Okay, hold on. So I go here and I go to images. Okay? And literally, this is the dad of Tara. Okay? You guys see why he's such a badass dog? I'm like, hell yeah, I want my puppy to have this guy's genes. And this guy's a well known dog in Europe. Okay? Again, just start looking at the picture. Start diving in there. You know, look at this. Look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous dog right here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think my camera is like right there, but let me see. But anyways, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, guys, look, check this out. This is the dog. This is Quiz. This is the dad or the, the dad of Tara. Okay. So I literally dive in. I start doing some research. Maybe I might type in titles. Okay. 
and then I go to all and then boom I start going in here and then quiz Vaughn something uh, and then again I just like I said I just start doing research and the other thing that I do with these dogs um, is I could even do something like this look this is what I do okay again guys this is a trick so you grab this copy or you could even open it up on a new tab and then you start diving in look at this what's up with all these ads all right um, okay you start doing research siblings uh, when it was born look at this you start you start you just start digging in guys it's pretty pretty simple um, and that's pretty much all you do okay you just start diving in you do research, you look for trainings, you look for titles, you look for um, all of these things, right? The biggest thing is I want the dog to be well known. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I'm looking for titles, I'm looking for health tests, I'm looking for all of these specific things that the offspring that my puppy is going to have, okay? So let's get out of this one. Um, let's go back here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, just just dive in, just start diving in and start doing research on the pedigree of your dog. Okay, the other thing is Alexa. So Alexa is the mom. Remember, I told you I'm big on the female and I'm big on the male. Okay, it can't just be one or the other. Okay, check this out. So this is the mom. This is Tara's mom. Okay, I like her stance. She looks really nice. Not as thick, but. The dad quiz kind of gives it that good combo of the thickness, which produces uh, Terra. Okay, so these are the things that you guys have to imagine and, and take into account. Remember, so you look at the female, and then you look at the male, and then you start envisioning what the puppies are going to look like. So with a great female like this and a great male like this, you get Terra. You get this big old beast, right? So those are great, great concepts to look at, okay? And then same thing, you know, you could go in here um, and start looking at the dad, start looking at the grandpa, right? I think there's Rio Blanco, I think this is a good famous dog. Um, like I said, you could do the same thing, just grab the name of the, of the dog and start diving in a little bit more into that dog, okay? And just keep going back. You don't want to go back like 10 generations because that's just, you know, way too many. But I would definitely search, uh, you know, the mom, the dad, the, I mean, sorry, the first generation, second generation, and the third generation. After that, yeah, the bloodline's in there. But again, guys, it's just, you know, you definitely want to look at the parents and the grandparents and a little bit of the great grandparents. Okay, after that, it's not a huge deal, but it's good to, to have that. Okay, so... Let me go back to my little PowerPoint. Um, so yeah, this is Tara's parents, like I said, and then now I have Million. So Million D. Altabello is the uh, the stud that was used for Tara, but unfortunately, Tara didn't conceive, right? So same thing, this guy, what do I do? I grab this guy's name, I go to Google, and I start diving in. Just the same way that I did with Tara, I'm going to do it with Million. And I start looking for all of those things that I that I mentioned, you know, uh, titles, offsprings. I want to see what their puppies look like. I wanna I want to see their health test. I want to see this. I want to see. I start diving in because I want to make sure that the bloodline that I am going to bring into my house or my 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 dogs, I want that bloodline to be a great bloodline. Okay. Um, if I start hearing a lot of bad things about a certain bloodline, I don't want I don't want to touch that bloodline. Right, like if it has a lot of diseases, if it, if it has the DMCW or whatever that disease, like all of those things, I don't want to have that. Okay, I don't want my puppies to have that. I don't want to produce puppies that have a bloodline with any type of diseases or anything like that. Okay, so same thing. Uh, let me see. I did it right here. So boom, million D. Altabello. Okay, and then you know who this guy's son is. He is the son of Maxim D'Altabello, and I'm sure you guys know who that is. 
You know, if you guys are Doberman fans, you guys will know who Maxim, Maxim, Maximum, Maxim, Maxim is. Uh, D'Altabello. He's a world champion. Amazing, amazing dog. Um, you know, look at this guy. Huge, huge dog. Beautiful face. Um, you know, this is... Uh, these are look look check this out. This is what what's so cool and I look for, right? This is what I tell you guys. Watch this. Look at all this. Boom 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 boom. All of these are titles and championships and all this other winners of all this and that. Look, best show, best show, best show, puppy, best show, champion of Serbia, champion of Russia, champion of Solo Balania. Look at this. Like this is crazy. Health test. Clear. Or VW, uh, VWD clear cardio free. He has an IPO one, an IPO two. Which this is all like the crazy stuff that I'm like, hell yeah! Like I want a dog that. So if let's say if Million and um, and Tara would have conceived, my puppy, his grandpa, would be this guy, who has all of these titles, all of these championships. Maxim, he's a, like I said, he's a world famous dog, and I'm sure you guys know who he is. So that's you know something that is extremely, extremely important to look into. Um, let's see. I can give you guys a little bit of an example here. I don't know. You know, I don't mean to talk bad about it, but hey, like look at this female. Okay, you guys see how this female is? She looks nice. She looks thick. Um, you know, the face. Eh, maybe it's you know not as nice as I would like it, but again. You got to, it's not going to be a perfect dog, okay? but you got to take into account everything. Like, wow, you know what? She has the body. So, what, man, you know what? The puppies are going to look, you know, hopefully they get the, the, the head of, of Maxim, right? Not the head of, of, of the female or this or that. But you have to dive in, keep on diving into the bloodlines, okay? So, this is, and this is Maximum. This was, uh, Maxim is just the dad of a million. So, the mom is Tihara. Okay, so then I do the same thing. I start diving in, right? Tahara. So this is Tahara. Look at her. Look at her body. She's big. She's thick. I like the chest. Even as a female, even as a female, she has that body structure that is just like nice. I like it. Like I said, you mix that. You mix this female with with uh, with Maxim. Maximum. What do you get? You get this big. Uh, big bad boy you see that so always always take into account both parents all right guys so um, like I said that's pretty much when it comes to the bloodline that's kind of what I want to show you guys now what I want to do is I want to go back here because like I said I kind of made this and I want to give you guys an example like I said I don't want to make this video super long but I want to give you guys content right I want to give you guys value uh, so that way you guys could just uh, you know keep getting more familiar with this dog with this breed um, and this is just from experience, you know, what I, what I do, um, let's see. So we talked about million. So this is Kimber's pedigree. I believe all of you guys should have it because I think I send it to all of you guys. And uh, if you guys haven't done it, you guys are more than welcome to do exactly what I showed you guys uh, with, with uh, you know, Googling her bloodline. So I'm going to do the same thing right now, okay? So let me get, it's a little bit blurry, guys here but like I said you guys have it okay so let's do the same thing check this out so let's go here let's go to Google and let's start diving in right so uh, Kimber's dad is Chico Petigos let's start with Chico boom images boom that is Kimber's dad Okay, look at that. Beautiful dog. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Okay, Chico Batigos. Boom. Kimber really, really... Kimber has that stance of her dad. I don't even have to be holding her. And I'm sure you guys have seen like pictures and stuff like that. I don't even have to hold her. And she she has that amazing, beautiful, like fancy stance, which is pretty cool. You know, so again, this is Chico. I start diving in. You know, this is... Uh, Chico, Chico when he was younger, okay, um, and again, I could even go here, and go here, you know, 
and then this is Batigles, this is where I got Kimber from, and then just start diving in, okay, just start doing some research, okay? Um, so we got Chico, right? And then, let's look up, I don't know, how about we go to Chico's dad, who's that? El Te Del Nazi, I'm sure you guys know who he is, right? El Te Del Nazi, Del Nazi, Del Nazi, boom. All right, so El Te Del Nazi, this is Chico's dad. So it's easy, right? This is a, a Kimber's, Kimber's grandpa. So again, these are the things that you have to look for. Like, wow, look at, look at, look at uh, El Te. He's a badass dog, right? Look at that. You just start diving in. You know, you start doing some some deep diving, some research into the dog, right? Who is this? This is Timar. Timar, Timir, however you say that, is actually Ute del Nazi's um, son. So this is Kimber's great grandpa. Okay, if you guys see uh, Kimber's pedigree, so there's Kimber, right? And then there's Chico. Okay, we saw Chico. Then there's Ute, which is him, right? This is El Te. And then we have. Uh, where's he at? Timar? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, this right here. Right? Pride of Russia, Tim Timir. And we could even look him up, right? Pride of Russia, Timir. Oops. Timir. Boom. So who's this? This is Kimber's uh, great grandpa, right? Yeah. Great grandpa. Like I said, that's kind of as far as I personally will dive in. Nothing too crazy. And then I start looking at Timar's dad and all this other stuff. That's a little too far back. But at least definitely the first two to three generations dive in and, and look at all that stuff. Okay? And guys, it's pretty much we could do the same thing with uh, with Kimber's mom. Right? Let's say Kalias Batigos, Freya Batigos. How about we look up Freya Batigos? Right? And this is Kimber's grandma. Freya Betigos. Cool. This is Freya Betigos, right? Boom. And then you just start diving in. Okay. And then you could even go here. <coughs> Let me go to this one. That has her pedigree. Okay. Boom. That's Kimber's grandma from the mom side, okay? You guys see what I'm saying? And then the other cool thing is that as you guys look at this, you guys can just always confirm everything with the pedigrees, okay? Because I don't know. I'm not saying I have came across it. Luckily, I haven't. Uh, but let's say, you know, somebody has like a dog that doesn't make sense or the pedigree's off. And then you're like, wait a minute. If Chico, why does the pedigree you're showing me says that Chico's dad is Maximum D. Altabello when during your research, you know that Chico's dad is El Te Del Nazi. You know what I'm saying? I haven't came across it. I'm just saying something to keep an eye out for. Always look at that. To keep diving into the pedigrees because you'll see if everything's legit and everything's good, everything will match, right? The pedigree that... People show you that all of that stuff is going to match and you're going to know that the pedigree is not fake. You know, you're going to know that the bloodline uh, belongs to that dog and that dog and that dog. You know what I'm saying? And of course, AKC and stuff, they do blood work. They do all this other stuff. But again, these are just little things that you guys have to do in order to make sure that you guys have a, a legit dog or have the best possible dog, uh, you know, that you guys can. Okay? So, again... You guys could just keep on diving in. Uh, let me go back to my um, my little PowerPoint. So, all right, guys. So again, just dive into Kimber's pedigree. Okay, I'm not gonna be like, hey, no, don't, don't, don't research Kimber's pedigree. No, I want you to research Kimber's pedigree because that way you're gonna be like, wow, she's an amazing dog. Wow, she has this. The other cool thing that I do, which I forgot to show you guys, but I'll do it right now. I'll go to, uh, let's say, I'll go to YouTube, right? And I'll start typing in YouTube. You may not find all of the dogs in the pedigree, 
But, uh, but I know you'll find a lot of them. Watch. Copy. YouTube. And then you go paste. And then you go craft or quiz. You go there. And then boom. You just start doing some research here. Okay, you start looking at videos. As you guys can see, I, I was watching this video recently, <laughs> right? Because it started like at second 59 or whatever. Even if society isn't behind you, the community isn't in unison. Open your ears and your mind to watch Okay, so I start doing research on the dog because it's not just about pictures, right? That's the other thing I want you guys to take into account. It's not just about pictures. If you guys can get videos, that's even better because then you guys could really see how the dog is. That's why I often like to, you know, not just make video, make uh, pictures or post pictures. I like to shoot videos too because you guys really see how Kimber is. You guys see that, you know, it's not just that nice angle uh, on, on that picture. You know, when you're watching... A dog run when you watch her you know her stance and all this other stuff live you'll see like wow it's not just a picture there's a video behind it to back it all up okay so that's pretty much it guys like I said just keep on diving in um, with that let me go back to my PowerPoint and I'll try to finish this up pretty quick I don't know how many minutes we're on um, but it's okay I'm sure you guys are enjoying this information right if you guys like this you know, let me know. Definitely, definitely let me know. That way I can keep making these type of videos. Um, so, here is Cora's mom. Okay, she looks like a male. Okay, remember what I told you guys about, uh, about Tara? She looks like a male, right? That's what I want. That's what I want in my puppies. That's what I want in my females and my studs and my, in my, in my bloodline. The puppies that I that you know the litters that come out from from my dogs i want them to be big i want them to be thick i want them to look fancy right kimber has that fancy stance all that other stuff so this is cora's mom okay cora is a year and like two or three months she was born in july of last year right so i'll be breeding her next heat uh around may or so so uh but again I'm not going to dive into Cora's because it would pretty much just be the same thing, right, guys? But I just want you guys to see Cora's mom. This is how she looks like. Look at that. Look at the chest that Cora's mom has. And Cora has that same chest. You know, this is her kind of standing. You know, it's not as nice of a picture, but look at that. Big old paws. Look at the paws. Look at the stance. Look at everything. You know, look at this. This, this picture is just like, wow. And of course, Cora's uh, dad is Brody. And you guys all know Brody, right? He's huge, big old, big old dog, almost 100 pounds, I think. He's, he's a big boy. So I mixed, or I didn't mix him, <laughs> right? But I had, I had Brody and I had Cora, you know, or Cora's mom, put those together. And I'm like, hell yeah, I want a puppy out of that. I literally t contacted the lady, uh, the breeder. And I, I gave her my deposit, like, ahead of time. I'm like, hey, uh, here, here's $500. Please, please lock me in for a puppy, a female puppy, out of, uh, out of your female, her, and out of, uh, out of Brody. Okay? Literally, I was eager, eager to give her that deposit because I knew... Uh, I knew the kind of uh, the kind of dogs that 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 were gonna come out of that litter, and Cora's a beautiful dog. Cora's huge, right? Cora's big, Cora's thick, um, and yeah, she just okay. I'll do a quick a quick one, okay? So Cora, so uh, I love the name Cora. Cora's mom, her name was also Cora, right? But Cora's uh, so Cora's mom. This is her grandpa, okay? And I'm sure you guys have heard of him or seen him. Okay, which is Obi Wan Kenobi Doberman. Boom. Boom. There you go. That is Cora, my Cora's grandpa, or great grandpa. Sorry, yeah, great grandpa. Because uh, Obi, so Obi uh, produced Hector, Hector Batigles. Hector Batigles is the, the, the dad of Cora, right? As you guys can see, he's a huge dog. Again, so we have Obi, right? Obi, 
is the, the dad of Hector Batigals. Hector Batigals is the uh, is the dad of her. So can you guys see what I look for? I dive in and I start doing research on, on both the mom and the dad. That's why guys for me like everybody tells me hey your, your dogs are great, your dogs are beautiful, your dogs are huge, um, your dogs are, are amazing and I appreciate all of those compliments but guys honestly there's a lot of research that goes behind uh, my dogs. I don't just you know, go to a random breeder and be like, hey, you know, you got Dobermans? Cool, let me get one. You know, no, I'm not like that. I, I want to, I dive in. I, I'm like, no, I dive in deep. Um, you know, and, and I've had a few people contact me on Instagram and offering me their their Dobermans for stud, for, for stud services. And there was one guy who I think he charged like $300 for uh, for the stud service and he said like fifty dollars a puppy and uh, I looked at his dog and I'm like uh, I'm sorry but no you know and, and I wasn't rude about it of course you know you got to be nice you got to be humble and I was like oh, okay you know what man thank you I appreciate it um you know let me and I got his I got the pedigree of the dog um and I did the same thing and half of those dogs they were like American they weren't even on on Google like it was just like I was like ah. Uh, and, you know, he hit me up again and I was like, oh, let me think about it, you know, but I never got back to him because it wasn't, it wasn't the bloodline or it wasn't the, the dog that I, that I wanted at all. I, I didn't want that dog in, in, uh, in my, with my females, you know, because I know the puppies that I, that I want to produce, uh, they're going to be amazing. They're going to be beautiful dogs. They're going to be big, hundred percent European. I, there's a lot of stuff that, that go into the, the dogs, um, that I, again, that I, that I try to produce for you guys. I don't, I'm not going to half, or how do you say it? I'm not going to shortchange you and give you guys like a crappy dog or sell you guys a crappy puppy. Like, hell no. Because at the end of the day, you guys are going to represent my dogs, right? You know, at the end of the day, it's going to be like, hey, where'd you get your dog? It's like, oh, you know, check out uh, Garcia's European Dobermans. Like, cool. You know, I'm going to be proud to give you guys awesome puppies. That's what I want. That's what I look for, right? So, sorry guys, I don't mean to get in my little tangents, but hey, it's just me, right? I'm just shooting this short little video. Uh, well, it's not too short now, but as you guys can see, this is me. I'm a real person. I like to have fun. Um, so, final thoughts. Let's go ahead and finish up the video. Um, final thoughts. I hope you guys, like I said, I, I know what, I'm, what I have on there, um, but final thoughts. Like I said, do research on the mom and the dad. Dive in there, look up the pedigrees, look up the bloodlines, look up uh, titles, look up health tests, look up championships, look up all this stuff for both the mom and the dad. And even the mom, like I said, the females, they don't get trained as much. So don't expect like all the females to have a bunch of titles and be like crazy well known and all this other stuff. Uh, but if it's not the female, look up the female's dad, right? Just keep on going back, dive in a little bit. Like I said, two to three generations back, you don't have to go crazy. But hey, why not just take a quick look at maybe the fourth or fifth generation. You know, Fedor, Fedor the Nazi was a huge, huge dog that a lot of people have his bloodline. But he's like, you know, five or four or five generations back. I mean, this was a dog that was that was big in like 2007, 2009 or something like that. So it's it's been a while, right? So let me um, let me dive into the last few things. So, Kimber's pregnancy is not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet, guys. So, I need to wait a few more weeks um, and then take her to the vet, see if she is, uh, if she's actually pregnant. Like I said, she was with Brody uh, two times, or three times. I think it was two, two times. Um, so, I don't know. Just like it happened to me, I was super excited, right, about Tara and Million having puppies. And it turned out that Tara, you know, didn't conceive or Tara, you know, Tara didn't get pregnant. So I was like, darn, you know what? It's not, it's not that big of a deal. No biggie because I know, I know the quality of dog that Tara is. So I told the guy, I was like, hey man, you know what? I want to wait. 
Put me on the list. Keep me on the list. I'm going to wait for Tara's puppies when she does conceive in, in four months or whatever, whenever she goes in heat again. So, like I said, Kimber's pregnancy is not confirmed yet. I have to go to the vet maybe, I don't know, like I said, in two or three weeks because it's been about a month or so. It's almost going to be a month. So it's still, still very, very early. She has a lot of the signs and stuff, but you never know, okay? Um, and if she, let's say she is pregnant, awesome. If she's not pregnant, no big deal. We'll just wait till the next the next heat, okay? Um, so that's that. The other thing is deposits. Oh, sorry. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about deposits, okay? Uh, they're like, Jose, Jose, how can I give you $500, right? Or how can I give you the deposit? Jose, you know, I, the deposit, the deposit, the deposit. So I've been thinking about it. I, I don't know yet, guys. Honestly, I don't know. Um, I usually don't take deposits for puppies um, before the puppies are born. Okay, I don't. But I know there's a lot of people on the list for Kimber's puppies. Um, I believe there's about 18 of you guys. So I don't know. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of people. Okay, so uh, I may think about it. I may think about you know accepting deposits and just put you guys and lock you guys in with the puppy from Kimber. Um, but like I said, if I, if I, if I do open it up for you guys, um, it'll be, it'll be to everybody. Okay. I'm not going to just tell a few people, Hey, yeah, give me a deposit and I'll lock you in. No, it's going to be for everybody, right? I'll make a video. Um, actually, how about, how about we do this? Okay. If you guys are interested in putting in a deposit, contact me by message. Okay. Like I said, try not to post it on the thingy and, you know, you know, the whole messaging thing, right? I don't like that. The group thing is just for me to give you guys value, just give you guys content. Okay. Message me directly, send me a text message or message me on Instagram and let me know if you would like to put in the deposit for Kimber's pups. Okay. Uh, it'll, the, the deposit will be $500. Okay. Let me know depending on how many people want to put in the deposit already, like, you know, within the next few days, um, I'll see, I'll make the decision of like, you know what, fine. I'll, I'll make a video and I'll send it to all of you guys to be like, hey guys, I'm accepting deposits. You guys are good. Uh, you guys are locked in, right? As soon as I get your deposit, I'll do a little contract. Um, I'll, I'll send it to you. You'll sign it. I'll sign it. Just everything, everything being legit. Okay, I don't like things to be like, oh, I gave you this and I gave you that. And, uh, no, 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 no. For me, everything is, you know, let's document it on paper or a video call and record it or whatever we have to do. Um, so if you guys want to give me the deposits, let me know. Okay, if it's only one person or two people, uh, I may just wait. If it's a lot of people, like let's say out of the 18 of you guys, there's like 10 people. I'll be like, okay, fine. I'll probably lock it in. That way, the people that are locked in, you guys are locked in and you guys get a puppy. Okay? So, let me know. And then, uh, questions. Any questions you guys may have. Also, remember to text me uh, or direct message me on Instagram. Let me know. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, that way, I could maybe make a few more videos and just, you know, just keep on interacting like this. Guys, I like this. This is fun. I like uh, sharing with you guys my... my uh, my my knowledge of stuff that I know stuff that I you know that I that I do um, and yeah it's it's kind of fun you know just making these videos so I'm here for you guys like I said I'm here to serve you guys I'm here to provide value to you guys I'm here to provide you guys with an awesome awesome puppy um, and that's pretty much it all right guys have an awesome night an awesome day whenever you're watching this um, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later okay like I said make sure you send me a message. Uh, and let me know about the deposits if you would like to put in the deposit for the for Kimber's puppies already, okay? But like I said, she's not 100% confirmed. So if it's not if it's not this pregnancy, then the next pregnancy, you guys are already locked in, okay? So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.